Hello everyone and welcome to Kaji's channel. So, created na yung ating bank account sa ating accounting software. Ang next step na gagawin natin is to upload yung ating mga bank statement sa ating accounting software. So, paano nga ba natin siya gagawin? Kung interested kang malaman ang sagot sa tanong na yan, please keep on watching until the end. Do not skip para wala kang mamiss na tips and tricks na share ko throughout the video. So, without further ado, Let's get started! Kung bago ka lang sa channel na to, I'm Kaji, virtual assistant, executive assistant, bookkeeper, accountant. So kahit anong work, pinapasok ko. Basta online, kasi online work is amazing! Sa channel na to, dinidiscuss natin more on online work Tips and tricks and mga success stories. So, kung interested ka sa mga topics na yun, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell para wala kang ma-miss na video na ina-upload ni Kaji every single week. Alright, so how to upload bank transactions sa ating accounting software na zero, okay? So, kapag binibigyan tayo ng statement ng client natin, Minsan or madalas, ang pinaprovide nila sa atin is yung PDF file. So, hindi naman natin pwedeng i-upload yung PDF file na yon sa ating accounting software. So, we have to convert muna yung mga PDF bank statement, credit card statement, payment gateway statement na naka-PDF to CSV. Okay? So, paano ba natin gagawin yan? So, let me show you my screen. Okay, okay so meron tayo ditong sample na credit card statements. So, Kaji, so paano mo ba malalaman na credit card siya or bank statement siya? So, number one, during the discovery call, masasabi naman sa'yo ni client na, for example, meron akong bank account, meron akong credit card account. Si bank account is Bank of America. Si credit card is Chase. Credit card. So, dun pa lang, ma-identify mo na, ah, okay, credit card to based dun sa communication namin ni client during the onboarding call. Or the by just looking at the statement, ma-identify mo na siya credit card. Most of the credit card transaction or statement, meron silang payment thank you na transaction. So, yun po is credit card. Tapos, makikita mo dito na yung credit nila is naka-negative lagi. Tapos, lahat ng purchase naka-positive. So, baliktad siya. So, ito ay credit card. Okay? So, since credit card siya, kailangan ko muna siyang i-convert sa CSV. Marami tayong website na pwedeng magamit to convert PDF statement into CSV. So, meron tayong I like PDF, small PDF. So, depende sa iyo kung ano yung gagamitin mo. Search mo lang sa Google, PDF to Excel Converter. Ayan, madami na dyan lalabas. So, karamihan dyan ay free. So, depende na lang kung ano yung gusto mong gamitin and depende sa output na ipoproduce nila sa iyo, okay? So, kapag ganito karami yung transaction or ganito kaliit yung transaction, hindi ko na siya kano-convert. Kinakapipaste ko lang yan. So, for example, ito, paano ko siya i-convert sa CSV? So, kapag mag upload tayo ng bank transaction or credit card transaction or payment gateways transaction sa ating accounting software, eto lang yung mga information na kailangan mo. Hindi lahat ng information na makikita mo sa bank statement ay kailangan mo. So, alin lang. Number one, kailangan mo is yung date, yung description, yung payee kung meron, yung reference kung meron, and then syempre, huwag mo kakalimutan yung amount. Okay? So, yan yung lima na kakailanganin mo. As much as possible, mas maganda na lahat to na column na to ay merong laman. Pero kung hindi naman available, so wala tayong magagawa. As long as meron kang data ng date, description, and amount, okay na yun. Kahit walang laman to. Pero bakit ko sinasuggest na mas maganda merong payee at saka reference para yun sa reconciliation mo mamaya na gagawin mo kapag uploaded na lahat ng bank statement mo. So, kapag may payee at saka reference, mas madali kang makakapag-reconcile kasi kompleto yung details mo. So, for example, sa date, okay? 1-1, kunwari lang, ang format is laging short date, ganyan. And description is withdrawal. Tapos amount is 1,000. Kung ganyan lang yung information na meron ka at nasa reconciliation process ka na or bank categorization process ka na, 
mahirap ma-identify kung ano yung nature niya. So, ang mangyayari dyan, hindi mo siya makakategorize, okay? So, hanggat maaari, mas maganda na may pay and reference and kumpleto lahat ng column na to, okay? So, ang gagawin ko dito is 3-6, okay? So, lagi ko lang 3-3-26-2023. So, make sure na short week siya. Tapos, kakapi mo yan. And then, yung pay, wala. So, amount niya 7-6-6-0. So, makikita mo, negative siya. Credit card kasi siya. Pero, kapag i-upload mo siya sa accounting software nyo, yung negative na to, since credit card siya, magiging positive. So, tatandaan nyo yan kapag credit card. Credit card lang yan, pero kapag normal bank yan, as is yun, kung positive, positive, kung negative, negative. So, another one, 319. So, 319, 2023. Okay? So, I think hindi siya naka-format ng ayos. Kasi kung 19, 3, then yun yung format niya. So, dapat 23, 3, 19, 3, 26, 3. Ito siya. 19, 3. Tapos, diyan natin to. Nakapit ko to. Facebook. Tapos, magkaling ang mga 900. So, positive siya. Yung na-negative ko siya. Okay? Tapos, another one. 23, 3. Another description. Ayan. Tapos, 3, 26, 26. 26-3 and Facebook again tapos 295-98 ayan okay so pero kung natatagal lang kayo sa process na to pwede nyo yan i-convert sa CSV para hindi na kayo magkapi-kapi okay pero kapag ganyan lang kaliit tinatype-type ko na yan so kapi-kapi lang 326 tapos copy mo to tapos copy mo to na naka-negative okay tapos another one 3 4 tapos Facebook negative, 900, and so on. Hanggang sa matapos mo siya, then, ang gagawin mo lang is file, save as, naka CSV. Okay? Ganyan ang format. Tapos, rename nyo lang kung anong gusto nyo pangalan, and then save. So, so, ganun yung mga possible way na pag-convert ng PDF to CSV. Once na tapos mo na, all you have to do is go to your accounting software, and then, piliin mo yung tamang bank. Kunwari, okay, so for example, Bank of America yung i-uploadan ko. Click mo lang tong arrow down dito, import statement, and then select mo lang yung file. For example, this one. And then next. Tapos, i-map mo lang siya. Column heading, ayan. So, date. Transaction date. So, kailangan mo lang siya i-map. Tapos, kung happy ka na, yung next mo. Kung ayaw niya mag-next, for sure may error. So, so ganito ang itsura niya. So, imamap mo lang yung date is date, amount is amount, pay is pay, description is description, reference, reference, check number is check number, kung meron, and so on. And then, if you're happy, kailangan mo lang iselect yung format ng date nyo. So, yung kanina natin is date, month, year. Then, in the next nyo, sabi dito, the date column has value that don't match the transaction date. So, ibig sabihin, mali yung format natin. Okay? So, pwede mong i-check siya. So, ganun ulit. So, possible, yung in-import mo is merong error. So, i-double check mo yan. Open mo yung file na ginagawa mo and i-correct mo siya. So, i-save ko itong ginawa ko. Downloads. Kunwari lang. CSV. Kung anong pangalan na gusto mo. Save. And then, i-close natin. So, go back sa ating accounting software. Back. Select file. Select mo yung tamang file. Next. Tapos make sure na tama yung mapping, description, payee, reference, reference, amount is transaction amount. And if you are happy, you can check naman itong mga to. Then next. So, ayan. So, okay naman siya. Then if you are happy, complete import. So, bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng error kapag nag upload tayo? So, possible mali yung format ng date mo. Meron kang mga special character na nasama sa date mo or meron kang mga zero amount na transaction line. So, make sure na i-double check nyo yun. So, sana marami kayong natutunan sa video na to. And if you want more videos like this, just let me know sa comment section. Kaji will try to create more videos just for you. I'll see you sa next video ko. Bye!